Hey guys, I'm after with a brand new video for you. So I just want to start by saying I, I love protein powder. Uh, for someone who can't cook, and I I'm a teacher, uh, it just makes my life so much easier. Where I have a class coming, I can take a, a quick shake, get the protein in. It's great stuff. That being said, uh, some protein powders are better than other others. So basically, you know, usually you get what you pay for. The more expensive ones usually have higher quality. Not always, but usually. Anyway, so I got some free samples of uh, two different kinds here. We have Syntha 6 pumpkin pie flavor and Core Nutritionals Death by Chocolate. So I'm comparing these two not by taste, but by the, the nutrients they provide. Because as I'm looking at these, one is much better than the other. In fact, one I would not even call a protein powder. It's a meal replacement. So knowing how to look at the labels and understand what you're getting, uh, you know, it's important because with one of these, if you if you're dieting and looking to you know slim down, not a good choice. If you were bulking up, just kind of you know, main gaining, then it's fine. The, the other one, if you're looking for just protein, better. Okay, so uh, synthesis here, it is 200 calories in this thing. Out of those 200 calories, you are getting 22 grams of protein. So let's uh, break that down. So one gram of protein equals four calories. So out of these 200 calories, uh, not even half is coming from protein. So what's the rest coming from? Well, we have 15 grams of uh, carbohydrates and five grams of fat, only two grams of sugar. So I am not saying this is bad for you. I'm just saying I, I wouldn't call it a protein powder. I understand why they do, it sells more. But for 200 calories, I'm only getting 22 grams of protein. So let's say I wanted 44 grams of protein, that's a 400 calorie meal, that's a meal replacement. And again, not saying it's bad, but not a protein powder. This one, Death by Chocolate flavor, which by the way sounds delicious, it is 140 calories. Out of these 140 calories, we are getting 25 grams of protein. So it's 100 calories, so 140 calories, 100 of protein. Not a bad ratio. We are getting two grams of carbohydrates, three grams of fat, and one gram of sugar. So I am getting more protein with this one for uh, and 60 less calories. So if we're looking for just a protein powder, you know, this one, I'm sorry, destroys this one. Taste wise, I have no idea. And again, you know, if, if you're looking to bulk or just main gain, this is fine. So, but uh, no, I want to make the point clear that when it says protein powder, you got to look at what you're getting because, because the companies will hype up protein and, and sometimes it's, it's really not what they're saying. There's another major brand, uh, Muscle Milk, where their powders are very similar. Again, not necessarily bad for you, but for like uh, 160 calories, I think you're getting like 16 grams of protein. Meal replacement, not a protein powder. So guys, when you buy your protein powder, make sure you're taking a good look at the labels and you know what you're getting. Have a good day, guys.